variables in Marx Fabric pipelines are a great way to add some extra logic to your data pipelines, and that is going to be the topic of today's video. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi, and on this channel I cover Marx Azure and Fabric related topics. And today we are continuing our journey with Marx Fabric data engineering, and in this video we are going to cover pipeline variables. This video is also part of my Marx Fabric data engineering series, and link to the playlist can be found in the description below. But now, without further ado, let's start covering pipeline variables. I will first go through a few key points about pipeline variables, and then we are going to open up Fabric and do a quick demo slash tutorial to demonstrate to you how these variables work in action. Let's get started. Pipeline variables are values that are defined during the pipeline execution and live inside the pipeline, which is the key difference when comparing them to parameters that we covered in the previous video. Since parameters are values that are given to the pipeline and come outside of the pipeline to the pipeline itself. The main purpose of variables is to add some extra logic to the pipeline and to hold some intermediate data for processing purposes. Like parameters, variables also support using default values, and if the variables are not set using the set variable activity, then the default value is being used as the value for that variable. Variables also support few different data types, however, when compared to parameters, there are fewer choices. Currently, variables support four different data types, which are string for text values, integer for whole numbers, boolean, for true or false values, and then array for list of items that could be any data type. The main activities used to interact with variables are the set variable and the append variable activity. With the set variable activity, variables can be assigned some hard-coded or dynamic values using expressions. The append variable activity is meant for adding some new items to the end of array type variables. There are also many system variables that are already predefined and hold some system related information like the pipeline name, pipeline trigger time or workspace ID, just to name a few so that you get an idea what are those system variables. Now let's hop into Fabric and let's do a quick demo slash tutorial that will show to you how these variables work in action. But before we do that, I would like you to know that I spent a ton of my free time creating these videos for you. And that's why I would like you to encourage to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Marx Fabric data engineering content. It doesn't cost you anything and I would highly appreciate that. But now, let's go to Fabric. Now we have the Fabric open. Let's open up the data factory experience. And then let's create a new data pipeline for our demo slash tutorial. I will name this pipeline according to my naming conventions and then I want to start with a blank canvas and add one activity to this pipeline. The activity that I want to add is the set variable activity, since that is one of the activities that we are going to use today. Now we have our pipeline development canvas open and we are ready to start build our pipeline. Next we want to click somewhere to the blank canvas so that we can see the variable tab underneath our canvas. Let's open the variable tab where we can define new variables to our pipeline. Let's start by defining one new variable to our pipeline. We can name this variable to be var string one. Next we can choose the data type for our variable. As we can see we have those four options available that we covered in the previous section of this video. For this variable we can just go with the default string type since we want to add some text here. We can also add some default value for our variable and let's just write some random text to this field. However, we are going to overwrite this default value using the set variable activity. Let's open our set variable activity and let's rename this activity to keep things nice and organized here. We can name this activity to set variable var string one. Then we want to open the settings tab of this activity. Here we could choose the variable type that we are setting 
and there are two options pipeline variable that is referring to these regular variables that we are covering in this video and then we have pipeline return value that is out of the scope for this episode but very briefly explained this return value is something that pipeline would return back to an upper level pipeline if we would run this pipeline as part of some other pipeline next we can select the variable name that we are setting here and since we have defined only one variable to this pipeline we have only one option in our list and we can choose that this will then show the value field where we can write the value that we are going to assign to our variable that will then overwrite the default value that we defined for now we can just write a string new value to the value field then we can run our pipeline and see what happens let's click run that will then run and save our pipeline this run should finish very fast since we are just assigning a value to a variable and now it is already done and by clicking the activity output we can see that now we have defined a new value for our variable next let's create another variable to our pipeline called var string 2 and also this time let's have it a string and not define any default values for it then we want to add another set variable activity and name it accordingly let's open the settings tab and select our new variable from the list however now we are not going to assign hard-coded values for this pipeline and we are going to use one of the system variables to assign a value for this variable let's click the value field so that the dynamic content appears underneath the field and then let's click that to open the pipeline expression builder here in the expression builder we have the tab system variables where we can find all the system variables that we have available in the pipeline we are not going to go through all of them but some of these could be very useful for logging things or adding some extra logic like fetching files that have been modified before the pipeline was triggered and so on for now we are going to select the pipeline name system variable that we are going to assign to our variable clicking it will create the expression for using that variable to our expression builder then we can click ok now we can again run our pipeline and see what happens again our pipeline succeeds very quickly since we are only assigning values to variables now we can click the output of our second set variable activity and see that the name of our pipeline was assigned to that variable next let's create two more variables to our pipeline that are going to be array type variables let's name this var array 1 and 2 also let's change the data types to array for the var array 1 we want to assign a default value and let's create an array that has two string items a and b we could use the set variable activity to set value for our first array variable but for now we are going to go with the default value and just append a new item to our array for this we can use the append variable activity that is meant for this purpose let's add append variable activity to our pipeline and let's name it better then we can open the settings tab and select the array type variable that we want to add some items to and we can select our first array type variable to the value field we can just write letter c so that after this activity runs it will add letter c to our array which will then have letters a b and c since a and b were already defined as default now you could be wondering what are we going to do with our second array variable actually we are going to assign the value of our first array to it so we could see what is the value of it after we run the append variable activity so let's add yet another set variable activity to our pipeline and let's name it better to reflect what it does then we open the settings tab and select the second array variable and to the value field we want to use dynamic content and open the variable tab where we can find all our pipeline variables out of these we want to select our first array variable that will be then assigned as value for our second array variable then we can click ok now we are ready to run our pipeline and see what happens 
Again, run should be done almost instantly and it was. Then we can check out the outputs of our activities and we can see that our append variable doesn't have an output value. I really don't know why this is and is this a bug or feature, but let's not care about that too much and we can use our third set variable activity output to see what was the final value for our first array variable, since we assigned it into our second array variable. Here we can see that we have that letter C also in our list. Also, if it's not obvious, the value for our var array 2 variable has that letter C there only because this set variable activity is executed after our append variable activity in the logical flow of our pipeline defined by these green dependencies. If we would swap these activities other way around, our second array variable would only contains letter A and B. That is the default value for our first array variable, and the letter C is only added to the array after our second array was set in that case. Now you should have a basic idea how variables work in Maxed Fabric pipelines. If you want to learn more about Fabric, check out this video next. Now I thank you for watching and see you in that video.